keep those bears in honey. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Hello, and welcome to this week's lockdown edition of Chewing the Cud. We're here socially distanced and it's nothing to do with people's personal hygiene. We're still here with your weekly dose of showbiz news, giggle-worthy stories from the internet, and of course, our lockdown lessons. But now it's time to introduce the man who can fix just about anything with a glue gun and a jewel. It's Lee. I don't, I don't like your judgy rabbit ears. I don't like them. Yes, we are here filming from our houses, me in my 30-bedroom bedazzled mansion and Mike in his tiny little flat that he shares with the last remaining members of the Bee Gees and H from Steps. (laughs) Grim. Um, Yeah, we have got some great news, um, showbiz news today, um, and the, including the return of something that we had thought had gone forever. And that's not my youth, and that's not Mike's virginity. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm here with some juicy tidbits um, I've found on the internet, including things you shouldn't look at for a long period of time. Oh, interesting. So, you can keep in touch with us on all the social media outlets. So, at The Cud TV on things like Twitter and Instagram. Our website, which is at thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to this um, shenanigans of a show, then you can just type in um, Chewing the Cud and you will find us, probably. And if you've recently clicked like or commented on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, your name could be whizzing across the bottom of the screen right now. As you're going past, have a stroke of the beard. Go on. Okay, moving on. So, Mike, I know (laughs) that you have been avoiding the sun this week by hiding in your pillow fort, away from those Mm -hmm. harmful rays. But you know what I'm going to say now? Ooh, are we going to have another? Think we are? We are. It is time for the... Game of the Week. So, this week, our lovely producer has found a box of old photographs. Unfortunately, there was a power cut and nearly caused a fire when he kicked a candle off the mantle. He asked if we'll help identify the pictures while he cleans up the mess and wax off the shag. Wax off the shag? Oh, right, OK, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> it's a type of carpet. <laughs> yes, I know. I, yeah, I, I was like, what, is that a new thing that people are doing, waxing the chat? I don't, right, yeah, I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ooh. So we have to try and guess who this is. Oh, ah, oh, that's easy. I know straight away. Come on, chicken. <laughs> I'm, oh. I know for certain that that is Madonna, Madge. It is Madonna. Yes. Oh. And that's quite an old photo of Madonna as well. Mm. <laughs> About four faces ago, that one. <laughs> Only four. Okay. Shall we see who's up next? Okie dokie. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh. Okay. Is it, is it another old picture? I oh, I don't know. It's... I, I'm a, not sure. Is it, an, um, is it from the olden days? Or olden is it, days. Do you not remember this person? Uh, I haven't a clue. I know it's a boy, obviously. Oh, oh. it's Harrison Ford. Oh. oh. It wasn't in his Millennium Falcon, so I couldn't. that's why I couldn't get it. Or his hat. If we'd have put yeah. a hat on a fedora. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know who this is. Can I <laughs> squeeze the chicken? I don't know, can um, <laughs> I, I, I know. I'm saying that that is Adele. From the other side. Adele. Oh. Saying hello from the other side. It is Adele. Oh. Mm -hmm. How did you get that one? Because I am a miraculous showbiz guru who knows everything. Um, So that's how I knew. Um, Adele is looking particularly um, hot at the moment. No, I'm not going to say that because that's weird. I'm not going to say Adele is looking hot. Why is it? Um, She is looking hot. She, yeah, well, yeah, she is looking hot. I mean, I wouldn't touch her with yours, but still. Wouldn't let you touch her with mine. Um, yeah, she's looking really good at the moment. I'm, I'm, whatever she's doing, keep it up. Unless it's something not so good, then don't. So we're moving, moving on. on to the next one. Okay, so I, black and white one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze my chicken. 
oh. because <laughs> I want to. Ah. And it is, I'm going to say, although that picture looks, this is for, for people of my age, looks like Ray Parker Jr. from Ghostbusters um, theme tune song. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's RuPaul. Uh, it Ta-da! is RuPaul Charles. Indeed. Supermodel of the world. The world. Interesting, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I'm impressed at how quickly you're getting these, Lee. It's, you know, it's a game made for me, really. I, uh, you know, if, if, <laughs> if, you, if, if, if they showed bottoms or packages of celebrity sexy workers, sexy film stars, I'm sure you'd be there straight away. <laughs> well, we did that last week. I didn't do very well, did we? No, yeah. So, yeah. Speaking of sexy film stars... Oh, no! <laughs> me clack has, me clack has gone wonky. I know this one. This is our <coughs> lovely <coughs> leader, Boris Johnson. Oh, look at the face on that. Let's have a look. There he is. Oh, I, he literally hasn't changed at all. It, he's just, just got older and, and yes, and, and, going to leave yes. that there, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bojo. Oh, okay, another youngster. Oh. Another youngster. Youngster. Um, this is from the eighties ish, I think. Nineties, eighties. Oh, I'm gonna say yeah, but I don't I don't yeah. know. Um could it be a boy band? It looks like American yeah. because Americans had like... that um Oh, it's um, Chris Pratt. Oh, oh I would not have got that. I, I obviously no, got I, him I, I got him last well. week in his pants, but not as a child. Yes. <laughs> but I, 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 I got it was definitely from the nineties time because okay. I think when you went to school in the 80s, 90s, we all had that grey mottled background in our school photos. Yes, yes. It was, Moody. It was very in. Yeah. Okay, who... Okay, so let's talking about... Got another so, one. Hunks, let's see who's up next. Okay, <coughs> right. So this this so, yeah. is somebody, this is a gentleman wearing a... Actually quite attractive gentleman. Yes, I, if, at the about Hel- I wonder if he's aged in well. A, he's... In a, in a, in a, I, I'm going to say somebody like... Um, I'm going to say Prince, Prince, um, Prince. Prince. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> it's the what's it himself, Donald uh, Trump. Oh, I feel a little uh, bit dirty now. That, <laughs> that. I would have had a go on Donald Trump. Oh, uh, that, that proves that Roald Dahl story of if you think horrible things and say horrible <laughs> things, you eventually resemble those horrible things. I know, right, yes, okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. <laughs> chicken oh. that is either alan carr you can't or freddie mercury so you going, have to pick one or the other lee i'm going for freddie mercury oh let's are you see. sure let's see yeah i'm, po- I'm pretty positive okay let's I'm see under who pressure. it is then <laughs> it is freddie mercury well ah, done yes lee. yes mm. would you it's would you at a... that stage with the with i the would tash just and definitely the... on, on freddie mercury yeah I mean, it's definitely a... We've gone from Donald Trump to Freddie Mercury. I'm a bit confused now. Mm, yeah, it's all... To be fair. But, okay. oh, 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 no, no, I was going to... We didn't even say who's on to the next one. We didn't even <laughs> I know, say... Okay. I, I so, prematurely clackled, I'm sorry. Okay, right. Shall we, after three, because I think I know who it is, so we say it at the well, same I, I time after clackled. three. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> no, because I... Oh, oh, oh... <laughs> <laughs> You're just making O noises now, Lee. I'm going to say... I'm saying it's Benedict Cumberbatch, Benny Lee. I was going to say that, but in my head I was saying Engelbert Humperdinck, and I don't know why. Well, it's they're very got... different people. <laughs> Similar sounding vowels and stuff, though. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Engelbert it's Humperdinck. <laughs> They're similar. <laughs> very different people. OK, go on, we'll just do one last one then. Or is, is it a very unhappy child? Is is it you, Mike? No, it's not. I, I had blonde hair as a child. OK. Um, so I know me. it's not me. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh. <gasps> really? Houston. Wow. <gasps> she grew into a look, didn't she? She had a glow up, didn't she? Mm. From small trog child to... <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> she should add that on the next <laughs> Twitter feed. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston was small trog child. <laughs> oh wow! So 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 do we? So let's go. Let's go to the gallery to let's see who, who won on, that. Who who scores on the doors, please? Uh, six three to Lee. 
65 to Lee. No, 6 minus 12 and 3 to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well done. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to find something that you you are actually good at. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is still time. Okay, so still to come, we are going to bring you one of our amazing lockdown lessons, helping you get through the lockdown and learn some new life skills. <laughs> and you've got just enough time to pour yourself a gin and tonic before we get Lee with the showbiz news. Keep our jar of joy overflowing. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Be our sugar daddies. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for the man who's been inaccurately fingered in the past for lots of gossip. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. I would like to deny that allegation and say that I have never been inaccurately fingered. It's always been accurately. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. So, yes, Showbiz News this week. So, Mike... Back in the day, did you used to vogue? Are you a fan of voguing? I, I, I have been known to throw a few shapes. Of, of, a few of shapes? Voguing. Like that. Yes. Like that. I and then still you do the S do. with the arms. Uh, no, are you doing YMCA? No, that's not. That's not. <laughs> I, I, no, I can't, I can't do it anymore because I'm seized up in the back. <laughs> but. I can still do the whole rap bit out of Madonna's Vogue. Greta Garbo, Amamo, Deku, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it because, you know, whatever. So I, I just the remember reason, the gave good face bit. The re- yeah, like that. Yeah, on the, the cover face. of a magazine. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the reason I'm blethering on about voguing is, is that yeah. HBO are launching a new reality TV show called Legendary. And it's all Ooh. about the ballroom and the voguing. Um, so there, it's, it's a competition. It looks amazing. So what they're doing wow. is they're having eight voguing houses. So if you've ever watched Pose... Um, mm-hmm you kind of get the idea of, of the houses. So there's eight teams of, of houses and they're going to compete in a series of kind of tasks that they're going to sh- showcase like fashion and um, mm-hmm. moves and how, the, how they're going to dance. So it's, it's cool. a groundbreaking new TV show um, aimed at the LGBT plus community. So they're in there, they've got, they've got people of transgender, they've got gay people, they've got straight people, they've got people of colour. It, it looks really, really good. Voguing, Brilliant. for those who do not know, originated in the NYC dance clubs in the 80s um, and obviously mm-hmm. was kind of borrowed by Madge to, for her massive uh, um, bor- Borrowed by the, the sense that she stole it completely. Well, yeah, yeah, you, 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 could, you, you could do that. So it looks amazing. Um, it's it's on. You can watch if you. I don't know how we get HBO stuff in the UK, um, but you can watch versions of it on YouTube. Um, so oh. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be voguing along to it. We've we've got we're showing clips of it now, and it looks amazing. The judges it looks amazing. I'm not 100% sure who a lot of the judges are, but they've got okay. Jamelia Jamil. She is okay. originally from Britain. I think the other judges are kind of quite well known in the like dance voguing community. Um, but yeah, I, I may well be tempted to throw a few moves myself if my hip doesn't go out first. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but, what, watch out for that. So is that like a, a RuPaul's Drag Race book for voguing? Ooh, I think that's a little bit controversial. I don't think that they necessarily want to be um, classed. Not that they've got anything anything against RuPaul's mm. Drag Race. They just want it to be a standalone thing. So it's it's not about um, it's not about oh, it's, it's, yeah. It's I, it's. I'm not saying that it is RuPaul's Drag Race, but I mean it's like RuPaul's Drag Race was very clearly um, a, a version of Next Top Model. Yes. It, yeah. Yeah, I, I, so it's I that kind of that it kind could of well be. It, it could well be, um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward Me to too. it. Me too. I mean, do we know who the houses are? I don't know no. that information. We I don't know. They've not, they've not told that information. That's a shame. No. What would your house be called if you had a house? I don't know. I'd probably be called. I don't know. The House of Antibiotics. 
The House of Antibiotics. <laughs> yes. That sounds, yeah, okay. I, mean, I obviously would be the House of Sparkles, um, mm-hmm. and, and my costumes would deflect from the fact that I can't can't dance at all. So that would be <laughs> how I would go down it. Um, so yeah. speaking of sparkles, we've got some ABBA mm-hmm. news, an ABBA music update. Ooh. So if you cast your mind back in time to 2018, ABBA had stated that they were recording new music first Mm -hmm. time back in the studio for 35 years and um, it was originally going to be out around christmas 2018 but none of that has materialized yet there was going to be this tour wasn't there with the holograms Um, yes i remember you telling us about that none of that has happened however there's been a new interview with bjorn and obviously he was asked all about um what was going on with abba um and he Mm -hmm. said that he doesn't think that they will ever perform together on stage again ever 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 but the new music should definitely be out by the end of 2020 um he said that there was there, there was two songs that they recorded so one was called i still have faith in you and that was due to be premiered on the BBC in December 2018. Um, and mm-hmm. then there was going to be a follow-up called Don't Shut Me Down. Don't Shut Me Down. That's how they were going to sing it. Down. Get out of my pub. <laughs> um, <laughs> the new theme tune to EastEnders. Uh, yeah. And none of those songs have, have surfaced. So we're not sure if they are still going to be included in this new material or it's going to be brand mm-hmm. new, brand new material. Um, he was mm-hmm. asked what it was like going back into the studio after so long. And he said that it was amazing. It was like they'd never really been away from each other. Um, and, it, and he was really excited about it. Um, and so everyone's really excited about it, but we don't know for definite when they're actually going to release it. So 2020, by the end of 2020. Um, I'm sure that Adrian, one of our lovely producers, is probably sort of sick with excitement uh, waiting for it to come out. <laughs> but it's OK, it's just- because to tide him over um, mm-hmm. in July... ABBA are going to be releasing all their studio albums on coloured vinyl. So people like Ooh. a bit of vinyl, don't they, nowadays? So they're going to, there is some, some are pink, some are gold, some are, you know, I don't know, orange. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We've got pink and gold. What more do you want? <laughs> what more do you want? So, yeah. So there's, there's good news and there's kind of some potentially really good news about ABBA. Okay. Um, so in my ear, I've just had a whisper of September. September. September for for the new music. For new music. Exciting. So at the start of the show, I teased that something was coming back that we thought had gone forever. It wasn't my youth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't your hymen. That's all. That's just gone. Um, (laughs) But... (laughs) But... um, We're laughing because it's true. Um, (laughs) We're laughing because I've never had one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, um, Big Brother is coming back, kind of. So, this year marks the 20th anniversary of when Big Brother started. So, on the screen now, we've got um, a picture of the original Mm -hmm. cast or original housemates. I I can name a few, but I can't name all of them. There was Kagi... No idea. Um, the Nun Lady, Nasty Nick. Um, mm-hmm. I remember Nasty Nick. I remember um, Craig. Craig. Um, uh, Craig. Um, um, <laughs> Once again, we apologise to people that ask us. <laughs> there was the Irish one in the bottom left-hand corner, um, and I don't know the others. Was he not, was he not in TV somewhere? No. I think they all kind of did something afterwards, didn't they? Um, But yeah, so it's 20 years since um, Big Brother originally aired on Channel 4. So they're not going to be redoing Big Brother. Obviously, we can't do Big Brother at the moment because of the situation. So what's happening is, is that they're going to air Big Brother Best Shows Ever. And Davina Mm. McCall and Rylan Massive Teeth are going to be presenting. So we've got a picture of them there. They they were doing that that virtual heart thing. Um, So they're going to be presenting and showing clips of um, iconic 
celebrity Big Brother moments. So you've got things like Bridget Nielsen's surprise when Jackie, um, I want to say Jackie Collins, but it wasn't Jackie Collins. It was Jackie Stallone walked through. Yeah, it's Jackie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm Jackie. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jackie. Um, the things like um, that really cringeworthy bit with um, the, that politician that was pretending. George uh, Galloway. Yes. Would you like me Would to, you be, like the me to be the cat? Yes, that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then other, like, you know, so you've got people like Nikki Graham. Who is she? Who is she? She's going to be interviewed and going to show her clips. Um, what they've said is is that the civilian version of, of, of Big Brother will probably never return, but the celebrity uh-huh. version is always kind of ready to go. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing some of the old stuff because you forget how many... I mean, you know, that's a long time for a, for a, for a reality it TV was. show to be running. Um, and I'm all just those hoping characters- that we're going to get the Kinga moment back. Get the who back. Oh. The Kinga moment. <laughs> it takes a lot to remember. I think yeah. it depends whether that's after the watershed or not. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure that, whether that's suitable for daytime viewing. Um, and there we go. That is that is your, your, your Big Brother Super Duper Showbiz News Roundup. Thank you, Lee. Coming up soon, we're going to be giving you a high sense of self-achievement with our lockdown lessons. Lovely. Shall we? Shall we give the love to people like Davina and uh, Rylan did? Shall we try it? Shall we try oh, and do the heart? Let's have my, a go. My, my claw hand is, is raising. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. I'm too down. Oh, 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 I've got to go that way. Down a bit. Down a bit. Down a bit. Down a bit. To me. To me. To you. To me. To you. Oh, to me. Let's get you in. Oh, oh rotate. Oh. There we go. That's kind of a heart. That's kind of a heart. Kind, <laughs> of, kind a heart. of a very wristy heart. We love That's you. Close. That's we close. We love there you. We we anyway, love you. anyway, go. everybody, you've got time to go into the kitchen, grab a packet of party rings, lick the icing off, and we will be back with Mike and the Buzz. Keep those bears in, honey. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Keep our jar of joy overflowing. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to see why Mike has such a large cookie jar in the buzz. So it's more of a cookie folder on my computer than a jarly. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. But that's okay. A different type of cookies. One is less delicious. Oh, <laughs> one can get you. One can. One can. One can put pounds on you. The other one can get you sacked if you if you're found out. <laughs> and that's stealing the office cookies. Oh. Um, so, um, there's been a lot of things happening on, on social media again this week, um, with a lot of it being quite depressing. But I've managed to find a news outlet that's actually taken all of the, the boring and depressing news. I made it lighthearted and fun. Do you remember 90s sensation Desiree? I do. She she was, yes. you know, she'd rather have a piece of toast, but I loved her. Than do anything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, luckily, um, there is now a parody account called The News by Des. I love what this. That it takes the news and puts it to the lyrics to Oh Life. <laughs> yes, it's brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so what we've got is basically the, the ending bit of line just before the, oh, I get the shivers bit, um, mm. and rewritten some of the news. Okay? <laughs> so we've got one which says, MP say coming should quit. Dom is having none of it. He's really looking like a, <clears throat> ooh, I get the shivers. <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's brilliant. It, make, it makes me laugh every... It makes me LOL every time I see LOL. One of yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they all fit to the song as well. And if I could sing, I would sing them to you, but I can't. Oh. I, I, I <laughs> uh, the song was, was basically a nursery rhyme set to music, wasn't it? It was like... It was. I'd it was rather brilliant. go for a walk in the park... 
like society. So yeah, it was quite. Uh, yeah. I'd rather have a piece it, it of toast and watch the evening news. Or something. Don't, don't want to see the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, that's the fight that I'd fear the most. I'd rather have a piece of toast <laughs> exactly. and watch the evening news. <laughs> it's all coming yes. back to me now. Ooh, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've got some other ones. Cummings drove to test his eyes, breaking the lockdown he denies. Deliveroo, forgot my fries. Ooh, I get the shivers. <laughs> I wonder if she's aware of this, this account. I and, really and hope she is. I hope, I actually, and I hope it is actually her just doing it from her, <laughs> doing, it, doing it from her living room. I can't remember any other Desiree songs apart from Life. That them, she must have, she had a few, she had a few hits, didn't she? She, like, she had quite a few, yeah, but Life is the big one. And I always get, um, whenever I try and think of her songs, I get Macy Gray in my head instead. Oh, right. Okay. Which is a, a very different type of music, but it very is, crazy yeah. still. Now, I know you're a fan of this one, Lee, The Tiger King. I have, I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan, I have watched it. <laughs> Tigers! I'm yes, a- I have watched <laughs> Um, so yeah so there's some new Tiger King news oh okay and that's about Carol Baskin Carol Baskin right yes now for those people that haven't watched watched um, Tiger King it's a story about um, this gentleman called Joe Exotic I'm going to call the woman a gentleman um, who's in prison for trying to plot the murder of Carol Baskin Mm mm-hmm yeah and he had loads of tigers Um, because he had loads of tigers um, and he did lots of interesting things in his wildlife safari park. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that not to made, the tigers, we have to make that clear. Well, we do well, rude well. things to the tigers <laughs> that we're aware of. No, <laughs> no tigers aware have come of. forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Carol Baskin was the uh, his arch nemesis mm. and he was very, very... I was to say at odds with her on a couple of things, um, including the point where he kept saying that she stole, she killed her husband um, and fed him to tigers. Yeah. Um, so there's there's been ongoing court battles between the two of them, and Carol Baskin has recently been awarded control over Joe Exotic's wildlife rescue. Really? Oh, yes. he won't be happy. He won't be happy at he that. He won't be happy. No. Oh. Um, so it comes out. Uh, I don't want to spoil the show if you've not watched it. But basically, he he transfers the park over to somebody else um, called Jeff Lowe. Mm. And um, he turns around and says, well, you can't touch it now. It's in his name. And the, um, the US courts have actually declared that that transfer was illegal. So Carol Baskin can take control of the... <gasps> Oh, hello, cats and kittens. He won't be. Oh, hello, you cats and kittens. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go ape, isn't he, when he, when he finds that out? He's going to go wild, shall we say? Yeah. <laughs> um, Crazy. In his prison oh, drama continues. <laughs> so, yes, the drama does continue. There's also been a, a bit of a hint that there might be a movie coming. I believe so, yes. And so, yeah, that will th- be there's lots something of ne- to watch out Apparently, for. Apparently, um, Nick Cage has expressed an interest mm-hmm. in playing um, the Tiger King, which I can see. Totally. <laughs> I can see and kind of want to see it, but also don't. No, no. Also don't at the same time. <laughs> okay, so um, last little bit of a story here. It's about the Minogue. There are two. Which one? Choose carefully. Kylie. <gasps> Kylie. Queen. I wasn't going to mention Kylie. the one. Yes, the Kylie. Um, as she has, you know, you've been able to sing along with Kylie and dance along with Kylie and you've been able to smell like Kylie, but now you can drink Kylie. Pardon? You can drink Kylie. She's launched her own wine. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm aware of this because gay Twitter yeah. has gone into meltdown over, over gay this Twitter beverage. Has gone into meltdown for a na- nine pound bottle of wine. Mm. So, yes. I mean, that's a quite a reasonable price. Pl- I mean, I don't drink, so I'm, I'm assuming that's yeah. a reasonable price for a bottle of, of rose. I don't. Is it? Would you a, say? It's not, a bad, it's not a bad price. I've paid less, I've paid more. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I much prefer something with bubbles in it anyway so Kylie champagne is needed um, but yeah it, it's it's quite a, it's been described as delicate and fruity with alluring aromas of crisp summer berries and blossom oh have you have you have you managed to, to drink any yet have you managed to track any down I haven't managed to track any down every um. time I've been to Tesco where it's been exclusively sold in the UK it's been gone 
Oh, uh, because because what from what I've seen on on Twitter, it is is that people are buying one bottle to drink and then another bottle mm-hmm. in its packaging to keep in their Kylie shrines because we all have one. All <laughs> us, all those homosexuals have a Kylie shrine. Yeah. <laughs> a Kylie shrine. Yeah. Um, uh, well. Kylie is a sex bomb on Twitter, actually shared the fact that she could buy a, a bottle of £9 rosé wine, um, or you could actually buy a £15 empty bottle from eBay. Wow, so people are flogging empty bottles of Kylie wine? For more than the wine costs. Wow. Okay. I do know, because obviously I'm a bit of a Kylie aficionado, but a couple of years ago mm-hmm. when she did a tour, she produced these Kylie uh, bottles of of Evian water um, that you mm-hmm. could buy at the gigs, and people were selling empty bottles of those on eBay for huge amounts of money. It's just craziness. Mm. And if something catches your eye on the internet, please do share it with us at The Could TV on all of your normal social platforms. Finally, for the story of the week. Now, we remember the blue and green, blue-black dress thing that we, we had a few weeks, a few months ago now? Yeah, was it blue, yeah, was it white, blah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've now got something that you at home can play along with. Oh. Okay, so what I want you to do is stare at what comes up on the screen now for 30 seconds, okay, and focus on the dots on the young lady's nose. Okay. So, yes, just keep staring. Try not to blink. Because if you blink, it doesn't work. Are you still staring, Lee? I am staring. My eyeballs are drying out. You're staring. Out. Your eyeballs are drying out. Yeah. Well, I think it should work with that amount of time there. So, now what I want you to do is look up at the ceiling, blink quickly. Go. Oh, I don't like uh. it. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. Now, I, I couldn't see in detail. It looked like a passport photograph of somebody floating yeah. on the ceiling <laughs> with dark hair. Exactly. It's voodoo. I don't like it. Voodoo. <laughs> a little bit weird. Um, but, yeah, that if, if you're watching online, you can pause that and stare at it for longer. And the longer you stare at it, the more detail you get from it, which is really interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, so, yeah. I, I, but I, that's I, all that I've found on the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. Now, I'm, I'm slightly freaked out that I, uh, there is a demon on my ceiling. Um, and if I get possessed, I'm sending you the bill. Um. Contain your excitement the best you can, because coming up next is our lockdown lesson. Keep the studio supplied with gay energy. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Help us keep the lights on. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. So let's find out why I was asked to buy unicorn tears and tartan paint with our lockdown lesson. Lockdown lessons. Well, yes. This week, I'm going to teach you how to beautify your lives, um, Cudsters. Um, so it's quite... At the moment, some people are going out to the shops. Some people are not. Some people don't have any 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 garden. So what I'm, we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful... Now, I'm going to say beautiful. I'm going to use the rabbit ear. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Um, um, uh, a beautiful arrangement. So this this is the finished article here. So, oh, look at that. Ooh. Look at that beautiful, beautiful arrangement of flowers. It's very pretty. I don't know what kind of flowers we, we, we would call it. I think, they're, I think they're supposed to be chrysanthemums. Oh. Chrysanthemums. So what you're going to need is, so we'll take you through. So you're going to need a pair of scissors. Have you got your scissors? I have scissors. Like, You've got scissors. You need a glue stick. Have you got a glue stick? I have stick? a glue stick. Okay. You're going to need a straw or um, a straw or a twig. You know, have you got one I of those? Have, I have some straws. Are you okay? You're okay. You catheter straw. You got that? Yes, okay. I've got that. Um, a stripey uh, for you, a reason. You're going to need... <laughs> 
<laughs> you're gonna need some um, sellotape. I have my unicorn sellotape dispenser, as you as you would imagine. I, ha- yes. I have sellotape. Um, now it's, it's double sided I- sticky sellotape. Is that okay? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and you'll also need some some plain paper, some A4 uh, paper in in a colour of your choice. You, you're not got I've that. not got the paper. So we spoke about that before, I, Mike. I knew there was something else for the game. Ready. God, it's amateur amateur oh, hour now, isn't it? Got any right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll pass you, I'll pass you some over. So, right, are you ready? I'm gonna okay. pass it over to you. Okay. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Oh, so. What you are going to... <laughs> you dropped it already. I dropped my scissors then. <laughs> oh, you dropped scissors. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your piece of A4 paper, uh-huh. pia, pia, like that, and you're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half. Lengthways Horizontally. or widthways? Horizontally. Okay. Width, widthways. As if I was making a little card. I don't... You've done it the wrong I've way. i it the wrong way. Yes. You, you've, you've folded it the wrong way. Oh. Do I have to start again? No, you can open your piece of paper. Open it. Oh. Okay. Right, okay, now fold it. That's it. Okay. okay. How accurate do I have to be? Right. Oh, you know, whatever you whatever whatever works for okay. you. Um you want it to look rubbish, then you just do it. Any You've seen me do these crafts before, Lee. It will look <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, take your scissors, your safety scissors. I oh, know these are my kitchen scissors. They smell a bit fishy. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Like fish. I've had fish for months, um, no so, so, take your piece of paper. Now, the folded bit, bit mm-hmm. edge, has to be at the bottom. Okay. So, okay, so yeah. It, it and the open the bit... Yes, at the top, right. And then you're going to get your scissors uh-huh. and you're going to make cuts um, to just... If I kind of do that, to adjust before... Leave about a centimetre at the top. OK. Of, and you're going to make... You're going to make those cuts all the way to the end of your piece of paper. OK. Um, so not, not, not too thick, not how, too How thick or thin, thin should I be cutting these as he's already cut quite a few open already? A centimetre or so in between. OK. Um, now, the problem that I have is that I'm not very good at cutting things. So they're very does wonky. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Nothing in nature is perfect. Nothing in nature <laughs> I is perfect. I think I beg to differ. Um, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, yeah. I'm gonna sp- I'm gonna speed up a little bit, mindful of my fingers. Now, now um, want, um, what would happen if one, say, accidentally cut too far? Then you then you would have ruined it. Have you ruined it, Mike? I've got a bit excited with the cutting. Oh no! I'm going to have to give you another piece of paper. It's okay. It's okay. I can I can work this out. Just let me pick it up off the floor. So you, so Mike Mike, as you've cut I've, yours I've, in half. I've got overzealous already. with the cutting, but it's okay. I can I can I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay. I don't know whether you can or not, but you know. So yeah, carry on with your little with your little <laughs> carry on with your little cutting. When, when you when you've completed your cutting, let me know. I'm I'll, not far I'll off. just be on the edge of my seat waiting. There we go. So I've cut lots of. There we go. You see. Ha 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 ha. I've speed okay, cut right. it. So what you need to, what you need to do is yep. open it up like that, like like a, a, a concertina. Okay. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue stick. Yep. And you're going to you're going to put glue on the edge of so when you're putting your glue on yeah. so not the side that you've so you want it to go the opposite side so the springy side towards you okay like that so so it's an open mouth kind yeah. of thing so the fold is yes yeah yeah so put put some glue all along the edge of um, right <laughs> I am edging as we speak all along the edge. Oh, the the, the okay. thing. So, <laughs> uh, do I need to edge, and then, edge both sides or just one side? No, just, just one. one, just one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to going to fold. Oh, you're going to fold that edge. Oh, see, this is where it all goes horribly wrong. You're going to meet the edges together, like like so. This glue isn't sticky. Are you using inferior print stick? Oh, mine's a. Uh, oh, no. Mine's, mine's gone wrong. Um, okay. So so it looks a little bit like one of the... You know when you put those little hats on the end of chicken legs? <laughs> to stop them um, burning, yeah. 
Yeah, it should look a little bit like that. Okay. Um, my my microphone is uh, not my microphone. My my thing is going a bit wrong. So, like so I'm gonna have to put a bit of sellotape on it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just bear, bear with a second while I stick some sellotape on mine to stick mine together, um, because the, my my glue is also inferior. Um, <laughs> See what's oh, still getting tangled. <laughs> Ah, right, so what you need to do now is you need to get your straw. I'm Elizabethan. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, the, actually, that could Off be with his head. music. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get <laughs> get your straw uh-huh. and um, right. So get your straw. You've got. Have you got your straw? I've got have my you straw, got straw. Yeah. Right, so one end of your um, your flowery bit, uh-huh. you're going to place your straw um, on yeah. there, right? And then you're going to get a bit of sellotape, a bit of sellotape, love, and um, secure that to the paper. Right. I'm going I'm right. to secure it very I've, secure. I've... So you should. So you should have, like, a little flag now. Oh, what's happened? The yours seems to have come it's apart. It's okay. I can use my fingers. It's fine. I'm magic. Okay, so, so you should be like that with your with, with your with little my flaccid thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll the straw around the paper. Okay. So, rolly, rolly, roll. Oh, look at yours! How lovely already. Um, rolly, rolly, rolly. Keep rolling. <laughs> oh. Um, I've made a pineapple. You want them? <laughs> you want <laughs> you, It looks like a dead tree. You, what, you, you, what you're trying to do is keep them, the, the, the petals all in the same spot. Uh. So you want them to be kind of there at the top, not halfway down the straw. Oh, well. That's, exactly the, now. that's the trick. Okay, and then when, so once you have got all the paper um, wrapped around the end of your straw, you then secure that. What, what are you doing with the scissors? I didn't say scissors. I was putting um, the tape. Okay. Um, <laughs> what you need to do is, sec- is secure it with um, some sellotape, some sticky tape, some... Double-sided your tape. Your own yeah. sweat, whatever. How about the tears <laughs> of, my, <laughs> of, any, of any school teacher that's ever <laughs> given me crafts? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So once it's secure, you should should have a, a beautiful bloom. So there's mine. Mine's more like a lupin. There we go. I made a lupin. I went different. It looks like a ghost of candy floss of a sad candy floss. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's gone. <laughs> Don't be too mean to my first attempt. Uh, <laughs> Could you, could you so, do other flowers as well, so, Lee? So, so could you show me your rosebud? You can do other flowers. I, I can't show you my rosebud at the moment. I, I didn't pass that level of the tutorial because uh. it got a bit more complicated involving, like, proper cutting uh. out and string and things, and, and, I, and I, I couldn't go there. I was very impressed that I'd made, I made these. What you can do is, so obviously, make lots of different colours like that, like they do on Blue Peter. Pop it in a vase, um, and it, should you want them to smell, um, you could spritz them with with a scent of your choice, like Sacherelle or um, high, kar- <laughs> high Karate, anything like that. I've only um, got Brute, is that okay? <laughs> you've only got Brute. Yeah, pop a bit of... Ooh, mask to mask. Uh, pop a bit of that on. And um, <laughs> you, you can display those wherever you want to. Oh. Mine are going straight in the recycling bin. Another amazing top tip I think you'll find. Um, next week, who knows? Who knows what we will be, what we will be creating? Thank you for that, Lee. That's it for today. We've got just enough time to remind you you can still find us on the internet until we're back with you next week. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. the studio supplied with gay energy.
go to thecud.tv/support.